mostly about pastries, but, uh, oh, you're talking about the area. Aw, how cute. Ezlo's trying to mess with us. Well, that's great and all, but, you know, just because you're trying to scare me, I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. Down in Royal Valley, I've gotta find, uh... Actually, what are we here to find? We were called here by the ghost of a former king, but... All we really know is that we need to go to his crypt. We don't know what he has, only that it'll probably lead to story progression. Or at least I hope so anyway. Hope he's not just calling for a friendly chat. Not that I'd mind, it's just I'd kind of like to get a move on. So here we have a great fairy who's probably one of the more tricky ones, if only for one tiny part of this little quiz she's about to get a give us. Not this question, we know it was the Earth element. And sadly, no, Doylon's grandfather is not Smee. He has probably never even met Captain Hook. Okay, I believe this is the difficult question. The Blabbernut gives one the ability to understand the Minish. It was actually the Jabbernut, but that one usually catches me off guard. Now, this one's not difficult, though. It's obviously red. And by the way, if you get a question wrong, she calls you a liar and smites you. But since we got the questions correct, we got a quiver. There's a bit of a difference between the re reward and punishment, I've gotta say. Ah well, we got that taken care of. Now on to the spooky area. So of course our newfound lantern's going to be pretty useful here. Of course we've also got those little ghost things, guineas. They're asleep from a distance, meaning, thanks to our new sword beams, they're pretty easy to take care of. But if you let them get too close, that then they will lick you a whole lot. Gross. And now I don't have the sword beam. Quit doing that! Gross, I don't want to be licked by a ghost. So this is a bit of a maze, but gives you the exact instructions, so... The problem with this maze, unfortunately, is there's pretty much a genie on every screen. But really, the puzzle itself is as simple as get your lantern out, find the sign, read its instructions. I think there's a curveball or two here and there, but oh, that first curveball, you gotta remember where you just went through. It's not that difficult unless you have very short term memory. Same as the beginning. That, of course, is up. But we're not done yet. Oh, we thought, we thought just because we were going up, we were done? No. Uh, oh, and don't worry, nothing bad happens, other than a bit of wasted time. If you get this wrong, you'll just be sent back to the beginning. It's basically Lost Woods, except less creative. But hey, at least you can play this section with your volume off. Alright, so we have to make our way to a specific area here and meet with an NPC, which can, of course, be difficult. I mean, this isn't exactly a maze, but with the limited light, can be a bit difficult finding your way around, and hey, it's good old Dompe. You know Dompe, right? He's appeared before in the series, like an Ocarina of Time. Thankfully, he's not dead in this game, he is quite alive. I kinda like Dompe, especially in this game where he kinda looks, I don't know, constantly angry? It's kinda like Hunchbacked or something. Or maybe he's trying to be Popeye. I, I hardly get that reference myself, but I think like 10% of people watching this will actually get it. That is old cartoons and- uh, Apparently that bird didn't appreciate that. Hey, well that's actually a bit of a hint in itself when he says charge after him. How? How did you do that, Dompe? You just teleported out. Anyway, you literally have to charge after him, but it's kind of it's kind of difficult to do that on its own because your your vision is very limited without the lantern. And I'd like to stop being licked by ghosts. Thank you very much. All right, bird's got the key. Easy enough. Ram the tree. Find the key if you can. You might need to get the lamp back out. Well, excuse me. Maybe you want to hold it this time, as low. Oh, whatever. As he says, we can get into the graveyard. Royal Valley is pretty short, so we're actually pretty much already to our destination. And we're here. But there's a little bit to explore, I think. 
Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, how does your brother live in town when there's constant sunlight there? Oh well, I'm not gonna question it too much if you have a kinstone I can fuse. Wow, I can actually fuse a kinstone, imagine that. Oddly enough though, this doesn't have to do with her brother, but Karlov. Or wait, no, Karlov is the guy with the figurines, isn't he? Oh shoot, what is that guy's name? I'm pretty sure Karlov's the one with the figurines, so... Oh man, I forget what Karlov's brother's name is, only that I like him a whole lot. Well, I'll try to remember while we explore here, you know, push around some graves, desecrate, uh, basically everything here. But hey, we found something! That looks pretty important since there are three panels, we just got the ability to split into three, so maybe that'll be necessary for moving onwards. Huh? You ever think of that? Seriously though, it's bothering me that I can't remember... Uh, it sounds similar to Karlov... Barlov? Borlov, that's it. It's Borlov. Though I don't remember that really being mentioned in the game other than just the uh, figurine for him, so... I don't feel too bad for forgetting his name. I mean, if it's that obscure... And, yep, here we go, hidden passage. There had to be one somewhere, but... Sadly, this... Actually, is this a three-person block? Let's check. Actually, yeah, this is definitely a three-person block. So, never mind me. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. But whatever. New heart piece, new heart container. Fine by me. Alright, so since I believe we've checked everywhere in this graveyard, now we actually have to move on. I wouldn't even call this part a puzzle just because it's so easy, but let's split up. And, oh yeah, by the way, moving that grave is necessary, otherwise you can't actually fit into place here. But, easy enough. With that, the most important grave here opens up, and that, of course, is the tomb of the former king, the royal crypt. Ah, it'll be fine, Ezlo. So anyway, here we've got Gibdos. So Gibdos vary from game to game, but in this game, well, they can be threatening. Just burn them with your lantern, and they'll just turn into a normal Stolfos. And Stolfos are very easy to take care of, so... Yep, that, they're not too bad. Just remember to always fight them with your lantern. Otherwise, they take quite a bit of uh, damage and... Uh, ooh, fake doors! This is where these things get introduced. But yeah, they take quite a bit of damage and can actually do a lot of damage. I think they hug you is the thing. So this is definitely a mini dungeon. There's not too much to it, but we do have a few puzzles standing in our way before we'll be able to get out of here. Or get whatever treasure hopefully lies here. I mean, I hope it's treasure. More treasure than this key, anyway. This key's hardly treasure. I came here for more than just an ordinary key. Oh, darn it, and I don't think I'm gonna have the right timing for that. No, not at all. Oh well. Just make sure to activate two of these, otherwise I'll be wasting a lot of time if you uh, completely activate all three of these guys before the platforms come back. But that's easy enough. Also, I swear this song sounds very similar to the dungeon theme from Zelda 1. That might actually be a remix. A very different remix, but I'm pretty damn sure that's actually uh, a remix of Zelda 1's dungeon theme. I mean, it sounds like it, certainly. I didn't actually look that up before doing that, but now that I listen to it, I'm pretty sure of that. Oh no, I'm being hugged. Actually, that's less of a hug and more so they just send you to an alternate dimension of pain or something. Oh no, the torches we lit have betrayed us! Why? Ah well, mini boss itself is pretty e easy otherwise. It's it's just two Gibdos. You took care of those guys in a more confined space, so why would it be difficult here? I mean, there are projectiles, but eh, not a huge thing. Also, here we actually see the Triforce, which 
doesn't really come up in this game. Uh, it's not really a plot point. It's, uh, it was in the previous game in the uh, series. Well, chronological-wise, anyway, Skyward Sword. But here, it's it's referenced, but it's not huge. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you you've got a kinstone. Don't worry, self. It's a gold kinstone. It's not going to annoy you. It's going to be quite easy, in fact. Quite, quite easy to fuse that, indeed. Well, if the entirety of Hyrule is counting on me, well... Guess I gotta find the source of the falls. Or flow, or whatever he said. Flow, that's it. I kind of gave it away. Oh no. Not the most interesting puzzle in the game. So I swear there's a few more graves you can open here. Because there's one... Ooh, whoops. Because there's one more ghost NPC we've yet to meet. Actually, it should be this grave, right? No? See, I'm pretty sure it should be around here somewhere. There's someone we haven't met for sure. No? Seriously? Well, y at least you have a second Kinstone fusion, and hey, what do you know, it's actually an important one. Thank goodness it's jo not just yet another green Kinstone piece. And this Kinstone Fusion, on the other hand, does have to do with her brother. <laughs> Bye, nerds! So that opens up a little passageway into that house, which you can get into as Minish Link. I don't really think there's anything all that useful there, though. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any specific reward you get, like maybe access to a Kinstone Fusion? At best? Ah well, let's see what Dompe has in store for us. Gotta be something good, right? Cause Dompe's cool. I like Dompe. Oh, that's right. You have to fuse a Kinstone to do this. Forgot about that. So that opens that. No. Oh, poor Dompe. He doesn't seem too depressed, but... Didn't really seem all that happy to fuse kin stones when supposedly it's a thing that's supposed to make you happy, but he's just like, oh, good. Alright, well, I'm still gonna be a grave digger, so whatever, not like it's gonna be a huge change to my life. Well, if you say so, are you a shared fuser? I'm pretty sure Gene is a shared fuser. Oh, yeah, by the way, off screen, yeah. Got some more kinstone pieces. Cause, for crying out loud, I am so tired of not having enough kinstone pieces to fuse with people. So while these green kinstones will probably disappear fast, I don't care, at least I have them for now. So yeah, you get a shared fuser and a hundred mysterious shells, so it's not a bad reward. So, I believe, oh, Green Kinstone piece. Yeah, I'm down with that. So, I think Dompe has more than one fusion, so let's check up on him again. Indeed he does. What's he got this time? He has got one of these. Well, what do you know? I'm prepared for him. So take that. I was quite well prepared. And, oh, I am so not going after that for a while. That should be a Minish Passage. Indeed it is. It's a little hole in the ground. Yeah, I'm not going all the way back at Wind Ruins, just to grab that. Anyway, I think that's all Dompe has for the time being. So, I think we can also check uh, with Gina once again, because I think she has a fair few shared kinstones. She's like the uh, Mount Crenel Hermit, he's got a lot of shared fusions as well, so... This is probably taking up a lot uh, more other fusions, but... Hey, if I can get a bunch done right now, I'm not going to complain too much about it. Take care of that. Oh man, we're making pretty good progress. I think we're actually going to be at 50, uh, if not in this video, then probably like in the next or video after that? I mean, story concern fusions do count, so we'll probably be fine. But... Now that we've done those kinstone fusions, we're done in the graveyard, so... 
Let us take a trip back to Hyrule Town. Actually, no, uh... Actually, yeah. I think this is slightly closer to Lon Lon Ranch. Yeah, because you can just jump down here. And... Oh yeah, that's right. I want to talk to, um... David Jr. Because now I can actually, uh... Fuse with him. I should also be able to fuse with the other... Actually, didn't I fuse with him before? Actually, no, I don't think so. It's been a little while, so I've forgotten fusions, but... I think that's three of four. And... Yep. Because the fourth would be the top right, and we haven't done that yet. So that's three of the four of those passageways unlocked. So, next up... Hey, dog, how's it going? I want to see if I can fuse with you. Because you know what? This is going to be a short episode anyway. Might as well get some kinstone fusions out of the way. Because let me tell you, I am so ready to do that. Thank you, Fifi, for getting some more kinstone fusions out. And that is, uh, Hagen's house, right? Yep, I was right. Probably not going to do that one for a while, just because it's out of the way. Have to do an entire minish path in order to get that one, and I don't quite feel like it. So let's see, next up, if my past self could stop cutting down grass, we'd move on to Long Lawn Ranch. So I believe there's a few things we can do around here, namely go up, oh, Kinstone Beast. Namely, uh, past self, there we go. Uh, namely, I'd like to uh, be in the front so I don't accidentally despawn my clone dudes. There we go. Easy enough at this point. I want to talk to you, because I can definitely fuse with you by this point. Alright, Ankle. Finally. You've been available for so long, and now we're finally taking care of you. And that's all four passageways open. Meaning, we can actually get what's inside there. And you know, we have a little bit of time left, so, uh, very well might do that. Yep, that's great. Yeah, I think we'll just walk it from here. Might as well, right? So now we can actually get the proper reward for the Tingle side quest. We probably could have gotten that a lot earlier. Uh, pretty much a around the time of, uh, uh, Caster Wilds. I think that's when Tingle appeared, so... If you have all the right Kinstone pieces, you can get pretty much all of those just right off the bat. Uh, but... Let's go this way. I think we're actually going to go for the reward later. Alright, so we got a chest over here. 200 rupees. I mean, I guess we're fairly low at this point, so it's kind of worth it. But yeah, we got that reward, and if these peahens can stop chasing us, and I'm not falling for that like-like, or -like, be like whatever you want to be called, I don't care, I'm going you either way, and go away, peahats. Ugh, bomb-dropping peahats are the worst, because they pursue you pretty relentlessly, I gotta say. And I knew one of you would be a trap. Granted, that one was a bit more deceptive, but I'm prepared for you by this point, and goddamn, go away already. Ugh. These pea hats are the worst, and I hate them so very much. Oh, well, at least we're in a cave, so they can't bother us for now. So, dig our way through. I don't think there is a Goron thing here, no. No mysterious walls in this cave, anyway. And, oh boy, only 50 mysterious shells and 50 rupees. Those are so useful in that quantity at this point. Oh boy. Right, so, we got that taken care of. Excuse me, I was climbing a ladder. Oy, the nerve of some people. So, anyway, with that done, now we can go this way. 
and uh, we're at North Hyrule Field. So, uh, so since we're in the area, before we take care of that Source of the Falls thing, actually, have we not been up here yet? Doesn't look like we have, so, um, I suppose I might as well. Actually, we might have been there before, and so since I might have been there before, let's go take care of this stuff first. So, as per usual, this reward probably isn't going to be anything too special. Ooh, actually, that's pretty good. 200 mysterious shells is something I'm not going to turn down. That'll buy a fair few figurines, I gotta say. And in here we got the final switch and reward. Final reward is another red case. You know my feelings on that by this point. But with all four switches pressed, we've made a ladder appear. This sort of fell out of nowhere. So this is why this isn't available until you do that body fight in front of the castle, or the enemy fight in front of the castle. Uh, this is the magic boomerang we heard about earlier. So yeah, it's like the normal boomerang, but you can actually control this one. Let me demonstrate right here. Whoa, check that out! If you use the boomerang frequently, then it's pretty useful, but I don't use it too often. So, of course, I want to get it for 100%, but you're not going to see it too much from me unless I want to stun enemies. So we have to actually vent to this corner. But, this is actually where that source of the flow- excuse me. This is actually where the source of the flow is, so next time on Zelda Minish Cap, we'll be taking care of that.